Alright, sorry about that guys, ran out of time on the video um, that I was doing before and just wanted to finish this particular part up for you. As I was saying, as you can tell, uh, if you've welded the vertices that need to be welded by going into to the statistics panel, clicking on vertices, and um, we can see here that we have a few that only have two edges, which is fine if it's in like a corner, it's supposed to have two edges, but there, if you press the plus button and we'll select the vertices, uh, that only have two edges and you can see here that there's some like right here for example that should have three obviously so um, those are the ones that we've missed and we need to go back and weld together so make sure and grab those and oh, gotta get the right ones and so there's two and we'll just join averaged there's two join averaged and Make sure the other ones, another one, this one should have three edges, so there's two there. Alright, so all the other ones on the corners are okay, obviously, to have two edges, but that info and statistics panel here is invaluable. So this is also a good way to find out if you have um, any three-sided or four-sided, uh, excuse me, or greater than four-sided polys, uh, N-GONs. Click those, you can see those are N-GONs. Um, so another thing I will do is grab these verts. And this isn't totally necessary to do, um, but you'll find later on that you might get in a little bit of trouble uh, with these. Um, you generally want four-sided polys. So I'm just going to join these verts for now and if we need to cut in more resolution later we'll go ahead and do that and, and go into my front view and then start moving this geometry to where it needs to be I'm gonna press W for the move tool and just drag this whole thing over actually I'm gonna go into my model quad because on this particular model these fenders both in the front and the back kind of block the uh, view of the door and where things should line up so I want to line that up right about there and that's where that middle that middle line is on the car. So now I can see that um, by looking at both my blueprints and my, my reference images that right above this line that car starts to bend in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my left hand view. I'm going to grab all, all these top verts here above that line. So I'm in edge mode. Let's just do this. Let's grab them all above that line. And it looks like we have them. So what we want to do now is bend those in. Um, so I'm going to go to my action center and click on selection. And in the center mode, I'm going to go to bottom because I want the center to be or the action center to be at the bottom of my selection so if I hit the E key for which is the rotate tool you can see that this lines up with the bottom of what I have selected so now if I go into here and just rotate that I'll rotate all those verts right in along the side of the car and I can look in my side views along my top view that that line is lining up with the top of the vehicle now it may be a little bit low now because um, stretching kind of stretching around a corner I'll show you in this view actually um, I'm gonna press spacebar to end the tool for a second another thing I like to do is go in here into my shading options and and click off trackball rotation um, because this tends to get a little sideways when you don't have it that way but if you have trackball rotation off it actually kind of constrains itself a little bit better so it's easier to control all right so there is that shape of the side of the car starting to take shape and you can see it's bent at the right place however these again top verts need to be moved up a little bit so I'm gonna just end that tool and I'll deselect by holding down control the verts that I do not want activated and then I'm going to press the W key and I can move those up a little bit 
so that they're right at that line. And if I go into uh, full screen mode here, you can see uh, how they're lining up a little bit. Now, there's some sticking out right here, and I don't really know where those belong because of the way that these fenders stick out. Um, the only thing I can I can tell by looking at the top view is that they go along this line here. Um, as far as the bottom of the car goes, uh, the lines at the bottom, I don't know where those are supposed to be either uh, based on these um, blueprints because, again, fenders block it. So I just got to try to make my best guess. If I go into the back, uh, I can kind of get an idea that these verts here might need to be turned in a little bit so now I'm gonna go to um, my rotate tool this time I'm gonna put my center mode to top and then turn those just bend those in a little bit again not being 100% sure where they're supposed to be um, they look like they might bend down a little bit on some of these reference images um, of course, there's some detail in there that needs to be cut in, but that's going to come later. So, uh, just for now, leave it at that. Yeah, see, you can tell it kind of goes inward here towards the bottom, and then there's this little ground effects that kind of stick out. So, I'm going to just leave it at that for now and um, let you know that this is the basis for the workflow that we're going to be using is just creating that particular piece of geometry along that area of the vehicle and then going and pulling geometry off that to create the rest of it and um, we're going to get to that starting in the next video so I hope you'll join me